All right, what's up YouTube? And in today's video, I'm showing you guys all like the glitchy moves with normal four that Steezo do, I do, Combo Sand, Flip Z, anybody like that. I'm showing you guys all those moves. They're not that hard, it's just like hard to explain, but I've got it down. So yeah, the first thing you're gonna need to do is put on these cigs right here. Hold on, let it load. All right, yeah, here are my cigs, so, well not this. Yeah, Pro 2 on the back. Okay, so here are the cigs. Put these on. You need this, this, um, most of this is choice, you need this, you don't, you can do Elite 24, Pro 6, whatever you want for that one, you need this, 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 okay, so yeah, but you can choose your size up, and yeah, yeah, just your size up pretty much, so yeah, and your um, moving size up, so those are the things you're gonna need, and uh, the first thing I'm gonna show you guys is like the whoop-de-whoop -whoop and the reverse behind whoop-de-whoop. So I'm gonna go to Blacktop for that because you can't do park moves in my court. So I'll see you guys there. All right, so now we're at Blacktop. So all you guys need to do is pick, or go to two on two actually. Go, just pick your mic, your mic player, and then I guess uh, like Joel and B, just any good center, it doesn't really matter. And then just scroll to the bottom of any team, pick a uh, two trash players, and then um, yeah, plays your mic player and put it on full court. So that's all you need to do. And let it load. Alright, so there's a hand game cam, guys. Uh, as you guys can see, I have some beautiful fucking hands. So, all you need to do uh, to do the whoop de whoop is press. So, let's say the ball is in my left hand. My my player's left hand, like this. All you need to do is flick down, then to the left, and that's gonna do the little reverse behind thing. And then to do the crossover, you just flick uh, to the opposite ball hand, and then you do a crossover. So, it's down to the side, and then across. So, if it's in my right hand, down to the right cross. If it's in my left, down to the left cross. So, that's all you have to do. So let's say, okay, so from the left it's gonna look like this, down left cross, and down left cross for the right. So that's all you need to do to do the reverse behind loop do or to do the loop do loop. So um, if you guys know how to do the why is he guarding me the reverse behind? Uh, you just have to have um, normal four on, you do a momentum spin, and then you do a what would be a between behind, and then you hold your stick to the opposite way. So that's how you do a reverse behind. You probably already know that. If you don't have a tutorial on that, uh, if you didn't get that one, but yeah, so that's how you do that move. So if you want to do a reverse behind whoop de whoop, instead of doing literally like a reverse behind and then a whoop de whoop like that, you can also do a whoop de whoop like this. It makes it a lot easier. Flick down, like say it's in my left hand off the reverse behind. Like after you cancel animation, you um, flick down. To, I mean, yeah, you flick down and hold your left stick the other way, and it'll do the little reverse behind or the little half of the whoop de whoop, and then you do the cross. So you don't have to flick down, left cross. You flick down, hold your left stick to the left, and then cross. And that makes it way easier to do the reverse behind whoop de whoop. All right, so if you put those two moves together, it should look like this. So yeah, I just did a double cross out of it because I don't know. Uh, it's just what I do a lot of the times. But yeah, you can just do the single cross out of it. So remember, you just do a reverse behind, like that, and then you cancel animation by holding your left stick to the way your player is facing, then flick down, hold your left stick the opposite way, and then cross. So to show you guys again, Alright, so I'll show you guys the reverse behind whoop de whoop and the whoop de whoop. Every other move you can do in your my court, so we'll go there. But yeah, um, so yeah, we'll, we'll just go there. Alright, now we're in our my court. So the first move I'm going to show you guys is the, um, the L2, like, running move. So basically what you do, what it looks like is, it looks like this, okay? It's kind of hard to explain. All right, it looks like that. So, um, all you have to do to do that move, it's pretty simple. Uh, there's a lot of things you can do out of it. It's like a Pro 3 glitch, or it's like a whole bunch of things you can do out of it. So you just momentum spin, and then hold L2. And then when your player gets right here, you do um, any moving move. So basically, it's just gonna give you like instant momentum. So you can do like a behind the back, like that. You can do crossovers out of it. So yeah. Um, 
there's a couple ones you can do out of that so the first one is momentum spin hold l2 wait for the animation behind the back and then you can do whatever out of that that's the first one uh the second one you can do is um it's like combo sand move is a hezzy spin out of it so you momentum hold on yeah momentum spin hold l2 hezzy spin that's a good one and then um another one you can do is a double crossover out of it i do this one a lot so you just momentum spin wait for it double cross and then you can do whatever out of that so yeah those are the um l2 glitch moves oh you can also just do a single cross out of it and then yeah you can just do whatever any move it's like yeah any move that you would do like running up the court you can do out of that move so yeah you can get pretty glitchy with it uh, just get creative and yeah on to the next move all right so the next move i'm showing you guys is the reverse behind cancels so i just did a trade on right there all right so all you need to do to do that move is know how to do a reverse behind um if you don't know know how to do that already i have a tutorial on it you know you just momentum spin and do a between behind with pro um four so yeah um yeah, so there's a couple ones that I do out of it. A Trey Young. So you just do the cancel and do it between behind. So you do the reverse behind and to cancel it, you point your left stick the way your player is facing. So mine's facing backwards into the right right there. So that's where I hold my stick. And when it looks like he stops, you just do a Trey Young. And then I'll do a Chris. And then another one you can do is a Chris Paul. Um, like this. So you just wait for the animation to stop off the cancel and then you just do a double cross so yeah uh, those are two ones that people do a lot i showed you guys the loop de loop earlier and yeah that's how you do cancels out of uh, um reverse behind so yeah okay so the next move i'm showing you guys is the pro 3 glitch so you guys probably know this move from the last tutorial yeah those like the pro 3 glitch you just flick do a step back with pro 3 and you hold your left stick to your non ball hand and you get that animation and then you can do a, a hezzy out of that you can do a behind out of that you can do a half spin out of that or you can you can do a spin out of it so yeah there's a couple different things you can do out of that move um but that's not the one we're looking at today. If you, yeah, there's another glitchy move out of it, just for spin. So, if you do that move, but don't wait for the between, then you can get um, basically moves that give you momentum, like the L2 one I showed you earlier. All right, so yeah. Um, here's how you do it. So, instead of waiting for the between and doing with the behind the back, as soon as you see your player start moving that way to do the between, then you just do the behind. So it's gonna look like this. Wait, hold on yeah it's gonna look like that so that one's really glitchy um yeah you can get past people super easily so basically what i do if somebody's um pressing me i'll do a step back then i'll do another step back and i'll do the behind so it'll look like this boom and you just get right past them so after that um it's like pretty much in the wrong hand so you can do a crossover but i pretty much do a crossover then a between then another behind out of it like this cross between behind and then yeah that one works so uh that's a move you can do out of it so all you got to do again is wait for the animation where you're about to go between and then you just go behind the back so you can do a cross between behind out of it you can do whatever you want sometimes i do a cross and a walking size up if i want to keep going but yeah that's how you do that move so the next move i'm going to show you guys is the gather like that um, the gather, all you have to know how to do is a momentum snatch, like this, or not like that, I'm doing it like that, like that, oh. like that, like that, or like that, so yeah, that's how you do the, you know how to do a momentum snatch, so all you have to do is when the ball starts moving to the other hand, you just flick your, or hold your left stick to the opposite way, and you can do a gather. Sometimes it'll give you animations like that. It's not a move that works every time. There's just no way to do it every time. Uh, you'll get other animations. 
but um yeah if you get the animation it's good because like you can just spin off it then you can do a reverse Trey young cancel like any of the moves i showed you earlier so yeah okay i'm gonna show you guys um another cancel out of a tray out of a reverse behind it's how to do a momentum out of it so let's say oh, let me show you guys this combo this one's just a good one to end your combos i do it a lot you'll see my mixtape so you just momentum spin between then you cross behind and double cross and it just gets you right in front of the person so i'm gonna show you guys how to do a reverse behind cancel into that so to do a momentum out of it it's pretty simple it just takes some time to learn so it's the same thing as canceling anything else you reverse behind and point your stick to where your player is facing wait for him to pause and then you do a momentum so yeah it's gonna look like this all right hold on it's gonna look like that and then you can do the cross behind double cross so yeah that's how you do that move and um yeah it's not that hard it's gonna it took me a while to get it's not that it's like you don't know how it's just difficult because it's a lot to um focus on if you just just learned to uh, reverse behind or something so yeah um the next move i can show you guys is let me check my list oh the quick half spin so this one is pretty difficult um you're just gonna have to watch the hand cam really closely here so basically you guys know um to do a half spin or running back you start from the top and then go to the side the ball is on on your screen so if the ball is in my left hand then i'm gonna go top to the left and then it's gonna give me that animation so yeah um get to my right hand to my right hand top to right what the fuck? top to right and it's gonna look like that so yeah um that's how you do the half spin running backwards so that's what you're gonna need for this all right so the move looks like this so it's just a really glitchy quick half spin so what you need to do to do that i'm just gonna show you guys slowly with the hand cam you do a pro three step back and then you hold your left stick down into the side of your ball hand so if it's starting in my right step back and then i hold it down right and i rotate it like as quick as my player turns in that animation to the opposite side like facing left and then i do the half spin backwards as if it was in my left yeah my left hand so it's gonna look like this again and out of that you can pretty much do anything it's not like a move that's gonna break anybody but it's just flashy and uh yeah that's how you do the quick half spin out of the pro 3 glitch so let's see what else i have we've gone we've done l2 moves Pro 3 behind the back, we did that. Reverse behind whoop de whoop. Quick half spin. So yeah. Um show you guys one more move. It's simple. I mean it's not really something you have to explain. You just have to know like you have to have the spin back down pat, um, which I showed you guys in my last tutorial. You can watch that one. Or and you have to know how to do the um know how to do the reverse behind really well. So all you all you guys are need to all you guys are going to need to know um, for this move is do a reverse behind. Then you wait for your player to stop and cancel the animation. And then you just do a momentum spin back. Like it's just you're gonna have to sit in your mic core for these moves. Like they're not hard to learn. It's just two pretty difficult moves put together, so it's really hard. Alright, so it's gonna look like this. And yeah, out of that you can do whatever. Another reverse behind, Trey Young, um, and like an L2 glitch or something. So yeah, you guys can come up with your own combos out of these. And yeah, those are um, all the moves that I'm going to show you guys. So you guys the whoop de whoop reverse behind whoop de whoop L2 glitch moves, um, Pro 3 behind the back, the quick one, the half spin, and yeah. Um, to spin back out of reverse behind so yeah those are uh, all the moves i'm showing you guys for day for today thanks for watching um yeah i don't really know what i'm gonna post for the rest of 2k19 i'm just trying to grow but yeah um hopefully i can think of something but 2k20 we're going crazy so like subscribe and i'll see you guys on the next one